we're going to be going over the Russia, the Russia terrorist attack that just happened, and why some people are just straight up not a schizophrenic nutters and fucking do not seem to understand a lot of the details and aren't actively dismissing it. But yeah, let's get into the video. If you do like the video, hit the subscribe, like, comment, bell notification on. That way we get everything ready to go. That way I can hopefully get monetized soon and we can hopefully start building this fucking channel and start absolutely giving the media establishment my fucking fist up their ass. Anyways, let's get into the video. Woo! Woo! Make you stay. I know I go my way. I don't want to make you stay. You don't want to my way. So according to CNN, and by the way, like I said, I think they're a Big Bang propaganda model, but I don't think Big Bangs really have a, a positive or negative negative effect on this, which is why I think they're being a lot more honest. Um, I think that, uh, but let's get into it. So this is the four men in the brutal attack at Moscow Concert Hall. Uh, the suspects are from the former Soviet Republic of, of uh, Tajikistan, right? Now, if we go to what Tajikistan is by, we can get a very clear picture about this. Tajikistan, officially the Republic of Tajikistan, is a landlocked country in Central Asia, borders Afghanistan, South Uzbekistan, south of Uzbekistan, west of uh, Kyrgyzstan, and, and north of, uh, to the north, and China to the east. Yeah. A country that borders Afghanistan could pro- that is a, by the way, I believe a predominantly Muslim nation, they definitely would not let some Afghan, like, ISIS members that were left over get false visas, get visas into, get visas into Russia, and then get work there and all that stuff, and then commit a terrorist attack. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I, I would be absolutely willing to bet that that country would not let that happen. No way! But, you know, but apparently there's a counter narrative by by the big beanie cuckold himself, Tim Pool. Now I just made a big video. I just made a video on Tim Pool, the the conspiracy not oh big beanie cuckold. I, I swear to God, you know, like uh, like honestly, at some point I think we should probably rebrand him Five Head Beanie, but I don't know Tim Five Head Beanie Pool. But you know, I'm I'm just you know just saying. But uh, yeah, let let's see what this. Let's see what this fucking nutter has to say. Because holy shit, it is fucking stupid. Especially for a guy who's anti-war. This is a fucking dumbass take. Dumb take. Really retarded. In the fog of war, this is a real-time situation. It's actually going on. And I believe, I'm, I'm even hearing stuff that I look into that say that they're still chasing after some of the terrorists and elements of the Wagner group and even Russian Spetsnaz are up in Moscow trying to go after these guys. Okay. ISIS? I mean... That would seem like a stretch because <laughs> ISIS, um, as everyone knows, was at least in terms of the physical caliphate, was destroyed uh, during the Trump administration. We had this, we had this, this orange man as president who did very many, who did very, very bad things to ISIS, and they went away. Uh, but what people also don't always realize is that ISIS was also fighting Russia in yeah. Syria. So um, certainly would have motive. There's no question about that. Um, it's just been that we haven't really heard from them in years and all of a sudden pop up in the middle of moscow yeah sure uh yeah sure b-side hugh jackman yeah sure i guess yeah uh yeah i could we could turn you know let's turn this into it let's turn this into an issue you were on infowars by that same logic you you were you were at some point associated with a guy who denied sandy hook does that mean you deny Sandy Hook too? No, it doesn't. Why? Because you're putting arbitrary points together that in theory could make sense, but are not actually don't actually make sense in real world application. Like 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 do you understand like like I I, I, I hope I hope this blows up because holy fuck, I'm tired of these fucking retards. When it could be Islamic jihadis. ISIS claimed it, okay? The country where these people are from is Turkestan. Is a, is a, yeah, is a Tajikistan. Ta Tajikistan. What does Tajikistan border with? 
Afghanistan. Do you think it's far-fetched that Afghanistan and another Muslim country would work together to get back at a country that they fought in the Civil War? No, they, not in the Civil War. That they fought, um... They, that they that they fought during the is uh, during the Cold War as well as the U.S. and Afghanistan for 20 years. Like, do you think it would be far fetched to say, "Hey, you know what? We're going to get back at Russia for what they did in the 70s and all, all throughout these decades during the Cold War"? No, it is not far fetched. In fact, I would argue it's a lot less far fetched than saying Zelensky had anything to do with it. Okay, and I think it's more of a plausibility that ISIS did it. Why? Because when you look at real world application, also, what does Zelensky have to gain by by implementing a terrorist attack? What does he gain by that? What like it, it's it, this? It's the same logic behind saying what does Hamas gain from October seventh? What do they gain outside of a severe act of desperation? Obviously, it was bad shit. Like, I again, I'm not even going to go into the whole, like, thousand words spiel you have to give about, well, about why Hamas should absolutely kick rocks and all these different things. And why Israel is such a great country. Yeah, it probably is a great country. I wouldn't doubt that. But you also have a two-tiered system there. And again, when, like... But again, we're going to... That's a whole thing for another day. But yeah... But again, that point was their point was proven wrong. Why? Because they're a bunch of conspiracy not us who think they know, who think they know what they're talking about, who people take as credible because they were right very few times, and because of the sources they cite, like they'll cite SCNR. Do you know who owns SCNR? Tim fucking Pool. Okay, <laughs> like he will cite his own fucking paper. That is like me saying. Oh yeah, according to RyanSwainArticles.com It says that it says that Ukraine should absolutely not exist. Well, come on now. Come on guys. Should, why should why should Ukraine exist? They're Russia's country, right? Huh? I, I swear to god, it's that same fucking logic. But people fall for it. I, I honestly just laugh. I think it's funny in the same way a clown's funny, you know? It's just so absurd, you kind of have to laugh, you know? It's just it's just so freakishly stupid, you have to laugh. I, I mean, you know, but, uh, that's, yeah. But I, we, I don't even know at that point. Like, but, you know. But let's get, let's, uh, yeah, but I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, because, yeah, um, yeah, the, d d yeah, again. Uh, a good reason why you probably should not li you should probably not take your advice from Tim Fivehead Beanie Pool. Okay, like don't do it. It's just dumb. It's just stupid. It's just don't do it. Like it's just really dumb. Dude, don't melt your brain down to to Tim to Tim Pool level. Please don't. Like I I really I really hope whoever sees this video, they don't do that. But anyways, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna end the video here. All right, peace.